and point one, point two. Today we're going to be comparing rates and find out um, and be linking those to linear rates as far as how the slope of a line, how fast someone's going, that kind of thing. So let's get right to this. Um, if we go to problem number 14 uh, in your book, uh, it says up here that a local news station is selecting their <clears throat> female athlete of the week, Wendy. Wendy's right times are right here. Wendy it can run 30 meters in five, five seconds, 60 meters in 10, and so on and so forth. If we were to complete this table, what number would go here? Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so we're skipping one. If you're thinking that 120 would go here, you're wrong. Um, because 5, 10, 15, 20, for 20 seconds, it would be 120. But we want 25 seconds. So that's another skip of one. So that would be like going from 5 to 15 to 25 to 35. And from 5 to 15, this went up 60. So 60 more from there would be 150. 150 plus 60 more would be 210. 45, you can fill that one in. Now, let's look at Yoshi. Yoshi is the other runner, and she can run 70 meters in 11 seconds. That's kind of hard to compare with this. So Yoshi can run 70 meters in 11 seconds, and we are supposed to figure out which one runs the faster. So here's a graph right here, but it's not quite big enough. It's hard to read, so I've got a different graph to go to. So let's go to that graph. One of these runners is runner A, and one of them, I'm sorry, is, is Wendy, and one of these is Yoshi. Now, remember that Wendy was the one that ran in 25 seconds. You figured out that she had ran 150, All right to here. So that would be this spot right there. So it looks like B is uh, Wendy. We also knew that after 45 seconds um, that we had figured out that she had gone, what was that, 200 and... I can't remember off the top of my head now. Uh, but anyways, let's look at uh, B, or letter A, because that's one we're thinking is Yoshi, but let's find out if it truly is. So it said in 11 seconds. Well, yeah, 11 seconds got to be about here. She went about 70. She's got, um, that's hard to tell on that one. So how could we figure that out? If that is 70 over 11, how could we make an equivalent fraction? For 11, 22, 33, 44, 55. Hey, 55. If we multiply that fraction by 5, so instead of having 70 over 11, we've got some number over 55. 55 would work out really nicely. If we take the 55 straight up the graph, and we take 70 times 5, let's see, 70 times 5 would be 350. Let's see, B, that's not 350, but A is 350, so right up here. So you can see that A ran more meters in 55 seconds than B could. And since A is the equivalent to our 70 over 11, A would be Yoshi and B would be Wendy. So the question becomes, who's running faster? Well, the runner that can cover more distance in the same amount of time would be your faster runner. Hopefully that makes good sense to you. All right, let's try another one. Question number 15. We're talking about a, a triathlon. For those of you that don't know what a triathlon is, a triathlon is a, uh, an event where uh, the athletes swim, then they ride a bike, <clears throat> and then they run. So if you think about that, <clears throat> we got to figure out which of these um, happened here. Here is the triathlon, Diane's triathlon, where it looks like here it took her a long time to go a very short distance. Then it took her a very short time to go a really long distance. And then it took her kind of a medium amount of time to go a medium distance. So we have to think about what does A, B, and C represent as far as the three events? Well, let's think about this. Do you think someone can swim faster, bike faster, or run faster? What do you think? If you said that someone could bike the fastest, I, I think I would agree with you. Uh, people can bike pretty fast. So the faster you go, the steeper the line. Is A very steep? No. 
Is B very steep? Yeah. Is C very steep? Well, C is kind of in the middle. So B would be your fastest event. And if you said that B should be biking, I would agree with you. Now, what's our slowest event? Can you run faster or can you swim faster? Well, you can swim, I'm sorry, you can run faster than you can swim. Especially if you're me. I tend to sink, so I really don't swim very fast at all. But even for someone um, who is world-renowned, um, like Michael Phelps, even though he swims incredibly fast, he can run faster than what he swims. So, A, which is the slowest event, would be your swimming, and C, which is your medium event, would be your running. Hopefully that makes good sense to all of you. Let's move on to another question, number 16. And this is one where you get to do a little bit of work here. So you can see the graph I've got here. Hopefully you'll put this on your graph paper. But what you're going to do is you're going to track Edgar's uh, time here. Edgar uh, run, can run two different lengths. Sometimes he'll run four miles. When he runs four miles, it takes him 30 minutes to do that. So on here, make sure you use equal intervals. You're going to graph on here four miles in 30 minutes. Okay. What I suggest you do is put these increments of time, um, uh, the time going across the bottom. So each little one here should maybe be 15 minutes. So 15, 30, 45 minutes, an hour, hour 15, and so on. And then I would have your miles going um, upwards. Since we're running four miles and, and 10 miles and that kind of stuff, we're not going terribly far. I just go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What you're going to do is you're going to graph four miles and 30, I'm, yeah, four miles and 30 minutes, and then 10 miles right up here, if he runs 10 miles in 75 minutes, how far he's gone, by the way. 75 minutes would be one and a quarter hours. So you're going to graph those two, and then you're going to ask yourself, does that make a straight line? Well, between the two points, you should say yes, it would. But you also might want to take that back from a starting point. How far would Edgar run in zero minutes? Think about it. Yeah, he, he wouldn't go anywhere in zero minutes. If he doesn't run for any time at all, he's gone zero, so that would be parked here. Then connect all three points, and did those three points make a perfectly straight line? On the other hand, you've got letter B. Maybe do this in pen or a different color or something. Helen, Helena is a long-distance runner who can jog 16 miles, and it takes her about two hours. Okay, so 16, out, 16 miles, that's probably up here somewhere, in two hours, which is wherever. And what I want you to figure out is... Is she running at a faster pace than Edgar, or is she running at a slower pace than Edgar? So find that out for me. Graph those two, and we'll expect to see that on your homework notes. And then finally, the last one we're doing here. And I'm going to zoom this in just slightly here. There we go. Uh, we have to match the graph with the situation. Family A travels 30 miles, so you got to take your miles, 30 miles in 25 minutes. So let's see here. Here is 30 minutes. So did they have 25 minutes would be about here. 30 minutes in 25, nope, graph one doesn't work. 30 miles in 25 minutes, about here again, no. 30 miles in, um, well, this is close, but 10, 20, 30. This one goes 30 miles in 20 minutes. Not quite what we're looking for. Uh, graph four. 30 miles in about 25. Hey, that looks to be about perfect. Now let's just verify with the fifth one. 30 miles in 30 minutes, so that's not the one. So graph four would look like it's for graph for letter A. Let's do one more together and then you can finish this up. Family B travels 60 miles in one hour. How many minutes is an hour? That's right, 60. Let's see, so 60 miles, 60 minutes, no, it doesn't meet. It's got to meet in this top little corner, if you can see. Does that mean the corner? No, no, no. Hey, there it is. 60 miles, 60 minutes, those two meet right here. So you're going to do the rest of those, C, D, and E. Answer those questions. Pause the video if you need to, and we'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.